everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Mommy Milestones and we are doing a homeowner handyman segment today on repairing a running toilet. I will tell you this has been driving me nuts for two weeks because of the situations going on in the world, getting out for parts. Sometimes it's just a little easier to live with something that's not right, but I'm not going to let it go on forever. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We have five kids in the house and a running toilet is a constant thing because they don't know to take the lid off. I tell them jiggle the handle. I tell them tap the valve down. But guess what? A two-year-old doesn't know how to do that. A six-year-old doesn't quite get it. And most of the time, I hear it run for a few minutes before I catch it and realize that the toilet's running. So we're going to do a full-on proper repair today on our own with our own DIY skills and we're not going to call a plumber. All right, so this is a two-part repair for us today. We've had trouble that our handle, the threads and the nut that attach it to the back, are made of plastic. So I replaced this this week, hoping that maybe that would just be the source of our trouble. I hadn't quite realized everything that was going on. Then I took a little bit of look inside with the functioning of it and what was going on. So, this is called a teacup handle right here. We're gonna get a flush. And that's why it's called a teacup handle. And this lever was totally straight. So I put a bend in it, hoping that that would help it to sink back down. You see what's going on? All right, water everywhere. So if this fill hose isn't going down in there, it is not gonna push that plunger at the very bottom down to help the tank fill. Well, we had to figure out why that was happening. So a couple more flushes, we figured out what was happening. See this little circle piece here? It's supposed to sit on top of this. This is called a fill stop cap. So this little teacup handle, the whole mechanism slides up, this tells it to stop. It was getting stuck in the up position. So I picked up some handy Gorilla Super Glue, everyone says it's so great. Guess what? It didn't last through one flush. I had a craft project that I picked up for Bethany. We had some E6000. This stuff is supposed to be the be all and end all of any kind of craft glue or super glue. This held for 24 hours. It wasn't gonna work. Now, this is called Plum Works brand. This is our new toilet lever that we picked up. Oh, it's chrome, it wasn't made of plastic. That's what I was after. I think it was about $6. Perfect. Now we had some issues here. We didn't know what brand the toilet is. Usually there's a stamp right here from the company or printed on, or it could be on the back of the tank. The only stamping we had, December 1980. This toilet has been here since the house has been built. And to get to the back of the toilet, there's a screw here on either side bolting it to the base of the toilet. Most toilets are two-piece. I don't want to get into taking it apart. We've got to figure this out. All right, so this is what I saw was happening. This comes up, knock that. It's been flushed hard so many times. Look at that. Well, we've got a potty trainer in the house and he likes to flush. All right, this time it went back down. I did a little cleaning in here. It was kind of gunked up. I don't know if you can bleach the inside of the tank to get rid of some of this rust and line scale buildup or not, or maybe put some CLR in there. Let me know in the comments below if you put anything into your tank because there are rubber components in here that we don't want to wear out prematurely. And guess what? I would love to get rid of this toilet. It is called biscuit colored. Our entire bathroom is from 1980, except for the white linoleum floor. And you know what? I hate it. It cleans easy, but it's got marks in it. There's something like glue or nail polish that got stuck there. It won't come out. Our ugly countertop, this has been painted. It was like a marble color with brown swirls through it that was just hideous. And this shell-shaped sink, I can't stand it. So to get by over the previous years, we painted the countertop. I hung up a new curtain rod and a new curtain but I'm almost six feet tall. Do you see this? This is right in my eyesight. That is terrible. So we want to raise those up, raise the mirror, put a new countertop on, 
put in a new floor, put in a new toilet. And you know what? This toilet clogs like crazy with five kids. But this is a bad time to do it. We're busy. So we've got to get by with just a repair. So this is what I found on my second trip to the store. This is a Mansfield brand flush stop cap. So I've opened it up. This is real simple. Do you know that when you call a plumber to the house, they charge you a service call. That service call covers the first 15 minutes. No parts, no labor. Guess what? This is so simple. This is literally right out of the package. No plumber's putty. Not even a wrench. I can do this by hand. The hardest part was trying to figure out how to get this off. I thought it would pry off. I was worried about spinning it because it was wanting to go in two directions. Well, I super glued it in place also, so I broke it free with a pair of pliers. Watch this. Just screws it off counterclockwise. And yours will come off super easy because you probably didn't super glue yours the way I did. But. Menards is kind of screwing up our actual household errands and stuff because they're not allowing anybody under the age of 16 in the store. We had to get by with just mom going and figuring it out. Look at this. It just sits in there. All right, and the handle's back in place. Now keep in mind, I did have to bend my handle because it was pushing against this fill valve really hard so it wasn't wanting to go back down. Now, originally I told the kids, just leave the top off the tank and we'll tap it back down and we got by with that. Now with this, we're not gonna have to do that. It's gonna go back down all on its own. Now we've actually had this in play for two days and I thought, you know what? I need to make a video of this and show you. Look at that, it just dropped right back down all on its own. The fill valve is getting filled with this fill hose right where it's supposed to. It's going down the tube. The tube went down and the plunger is in place. So that is my handyman homeowner tip for you today. Save some money, do your own plumbing, keep that money in your pocket. Head out to your big box store, get the parts you need, take a guess if you have to. Just remember there are so many different brands. There's Kohler, there's Sterling, there's American Standard, there's Mansfield. The list goes on and on with toilet makers and plumbing supplies, but just remember a lot of those parts are universal. So you can do it. Get out, get your parts, Get your repair done today. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like button if this helped you in any way at all. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.